guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Right, here for um, however many videos basically this is going to take to clear this little pile of stuff. As you can see, it's quite a ginormous pile. We may be here sometime. Basically, it was all the things that were on the floor behind my desk when I received my amazing drawers from um, the lovely Mary. And I obviously put a lot of the stuff into the drawers. I've moved some stuff around and things. But these were the things that kind of didn't really fit into the drawers. Um, you know, and yeah, they haven't been moved around anywhere. As you can see, it's mainly paper. Um, some is like paper packs. Some are, you know, sort of, well, they're not really scraps. They are full size pieces. But so what I'm going to do is endeavour to make stuff using this entire pile over the next few um, videos to clear this off because you know I need to have it gone really um, it's you know it's taking up a lot of room and then it's obviously preventing me from being able to clear all of my stuff completely um, this is just kind of phase one of clearing up so yeah I hope you're going to join me and we will see what we can make Right, now I don't have a plan or anything, like I say, we're just going to, you know, wing in a prayer, hope that we, hope we conjure up some nice looking things. So what I'm going to do first, I pulled this one out, because this is a paper pad that I've had like for, you know, years and years. So all I'm going to do is, and I know, the, I know this is cheating slightly, but I'm going to just pull out the pieces that I really can, you know, make use of, because to be fair, you know, some of these pieces it may be actually kind of a waste almost of time to actually try and create something with things that actually then I'm never going to be quite happy using. So I've got here a couple of like frames. So I think we can definitely, definitely do something with them. So I'll pull those out and put them to one side. Now these pieces, not so much. So I'm just going to leave them. Is that a it is but I'm not so keen on that stripe so I'm not going to use that so we just then go through uh, what have I got here I mean there's you know there's some cute things here to be fair I mean like that tag that's really sweet isn't it could probably use that and this is really nice Okay, and then I think this one is really nice and I also like that oval one so those bits now the rest of this that I don't end up using I'm going to gift to the school so let me just tear out the pages that I think that we will use so again you know I will struggle to use this now I mean, I would have used this with card making and with scrapbooking, but not so much in our vintage pieces. This I can probably use. Again, not so much that, not so much that, not so much that. Again, I can use this. So, oops, we'll tear that out. Oops, I've got other scraps just here floating around, but you know, again, I'll just leave those in there. Um, I mean, these, I'm not sure about these, so I'm just going to tear them out, but you know, I might end up sort of putting them back in. Oh, there's loads of those like, in different colourways. So, right, okay, so I have tons of those now. So this one here, I'm going to gift this to the school, so I'm going to just put that behind me. I know that's slightly cheating, um, you know, in the realms of what we're doing, but you know, you can't kind of make things with everything, I guess, really because eventually it comes to a point where it's like, well, if I'm not then going to be happy with what I've made, you know, it's pretty pointless kind of still doing it, isn't it? Right, so let's take these. So I'll get rid of this stripey one. Like that. So we've got, yeah, we've got quite a few of these. Let's just tear that down there. Okay, so we've got a couple of red and a couple of yellow. Oh, we've got two of each actually, yeah. Okay, right. So, as I say, I don't know really whether I'm going to be able to make things out of these or not. And, you know, the question is, will I then be happy enough with them to want to use them in a journal? 
don't know. Um, to make these look quite sort of um, bright and colourful would go really with sort of children's books and things like that. So I'm just going to grab a children's book that I think would complement this. Okay, so I have bought in a couple of different um, pieces. So I've got all these beautiful book pages from some children's books that Laura had gifted me um, a really long time ago. And they've been kind of on my shelf. As you can see, they're quite big pictures. So, you know, they're not that easy to use necessarily, but they would just go brilliantly with some of these pieces. And they are the most beautiful images. I mean, look at how pretty that they are. So I thought, let's pull those in and we'll see if we can use any of those. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. And then I've also got this um, gorgeous little elephant piece um, that was gifted to me by Amy as well. And again, it's just got the cutest little images in it. I mean, how sweet are they? And, you know, they're just perfect for these papers. So I just thought, you know, grab some things that will go. I've also got those lovely butterflies, which Amy as well had gifted me. So again, you know, they're nice colours, they're vibrant colours that are going to hopefully, you know, um, complement these pieces really nicely. So let's start with the yellow. Actually, no, let's start with the orange. The orange? Yeah, let's start with the orange. I'm least drawn probably to the orange, which is why, for some reason, you know, go for the one that you're least drawn to. Don't ask why, why that was the case, but yeah. So let's have a think what types of pieces that we would want to create with this. Well, if we start by just folding it in half. So I can't see my bone folder at the moment. Oh, there it is. I knew it was somewhere laying around, but I just couldn't see it for a minute. Okay, and I'm just going to snip that, you know, perforated edge off like that right let's pull in this gorgeous elephant book I mean these really are such cute images the only thing is are they going to be up the right way for this piece now mm, should have thought of that when I folded it over shouldn't I I mean I love that image that's so cute isn't it I mean that's really sweet as well. Let's just tear this page out. Wonder whether we could just kind of have that there somewhere. What did I do with that frame? I mean this frame might be way too wide for this, but you know for the the piece beneath. Oh, it's not too bad actually. I mean that's really cute isn't it so I think what I'm going to do is start by inking up this piece just to take that sort of really bright white look off of that now, I don't need to really go too much over the middle because you know whatever I put on there it's going to cover up quite a bit of that middle so Sorry about that horrible noise with my ink pad. So that's that one. And then I'm just going to ink the inside up because I don't know whether I'm going to have this as like a little booklet or whether it would be glued together. I haven't quite decided yet. So we'll just ink it up sort of all round and then, then we can decide. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you're doing some crafting, having a nice time. I wonder if you've got um, similar piles to me and maybe this would motivate you to just grab in a bunch of stuff also and um, you know work with a pile of stuff. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through that pile but um, it's quite a big pile. <laughs> 
but I'm going to try and do it as you know as quick as possible because um, I've got a lot of ideas you know racing around my mind at the moment with other things that I'm keen to also have a go at so um, we'll see how we get on with this so we just ink all of that up. Okay. So if we have him in that frame, I think I'm just going to cut around. I mean, these are such cute images, aren't they? I love the kids' book. Kids' book images, they're so cute. So let's just trim that down slightly on this side, I think. Do I need to come down in length? I think I do or height okay I mean how cute does that look so I'm just going to glue that down so I'm just going to add a bit of glue oh come on I don't want this rubbish going on straight away when I switch the camera on and just get my pin Just go round the edge of there, like that. And then I'm just going to go round kind of the edge here. And that way, hopefully, he's going to stick in there. You know, somehow or other, he will be stuck in here. So, like that. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> so, so, so sweet, isn't he? Yep, really like how he looks. So then what I'm going to do, I think, is just round the corners of this one. Just ink up here a little bit more. Oh, he's so cute. Right, um, now, I also bought along my green bits of doily. Now, I'm not saying they're going to look good with this. They might look terrible, but I'm just kind of pulling it in because he's got some green on, you know, like uh, the leaves there. I'm not sure. Let's just ink that up a bit. Tear that down because it's quite long. Now well, that's quite sweet, isn't it? And I quite like the fact that it covers up some of that orange. So just going to glue that down. Okay. Just glue that there. that I'm gonna have that there now just before I stick that on just gonna see what else I might like because I've got some of my number tabs there and I might like to have one of those perhaps poking out behind him oh I've used the green ones Isn't that annoying uh, let me see thought I had some more but no maybe not I'd obviously printed them off and I think I've already used the green ones which would have been perfect. Hold on. 
Well, they might not. They might not have been perfect, to be fair. You know, they might not have looked as good as I thought they might. Let's take one of the red ones. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? So we'll just then mark that up. Now, do we want to have that kind of there? Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So we'll have that now. What's this? This is just a little piece of kind of vintage. It might be from that vintage newspaper I had used recently. Just an edge of that or something. So again, I, it is very discoloured, but I will just ink it up a bit further. Perhaps we could have that there. That's quite nice, isn't it? And again, it just takes that red down slightly. I mean, obviously there's like some faux stitch in here don't know whether the camera will pick that up or not but it would look really cute if it was actually stitched but again I mean my sewing machine's downstairs so I'm not going to do all that because I do have quite a large pile of stuff there and if I keep stopping and starting and what have you my gosh these videos will go on for weeks <laughs> they might go on for weeks anyway I'm just looking at the pile you know I might be seriously underestimating how long I think they're going to take so I've got these lovely butterflies. These must be punched out, I think, unless they're from a die. So let me just ink these up. So these were also in that lovely Amy Happy Mail. So let me just ink that up. I love that colour green, it's like an olive green. Really, really nice colour. Right, now I was thinking layer that up, but to be honest then I kind of lose it all together. What was there? Not sure now whether to have that layered or just just have that green one. The green one's definitely more of an impact, isn't it? So perhaps we'll have the green now. Can I just stamp that over with a bit of script or something? Let's just do that. So again, let me just bring in my... Actually, I was going to use the black, but might use my brown so let me put that back got that timber brown let's use that let me just put something down on the desk so um hang on. Oh, I'll just use this for a minute Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? And now I'm kind of thinking whether whether we should put some other stuff around here or some like book page or stamping or something. I have got some more of that lovely newspaper. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Right, let's just have a little bit of this in here. Like that. Okay, so let me just ink this up a bit. It doesn't really need it, but we will do. Okay, so much for, oh, I'm not going to take too long. 
I might have bitten off more than I can chew here, who knows. Well, I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, we'll just have to, um, well, <laughs> donate a lot more to the school. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. We'll, we might have to make just some really big pieces, to be honest. You know, just to um, help us. So we're not like here literally for a year doing this. Right, let me just see whether I might like one of my bigger numbers up the top. Oh gosh, I've really mucked that up. Neaten that up a little bit, okay. So again, we'll just ink this up. Oh, it's not such a nice day today. It had been really lovely yesterday. Again, I mean, I'm filming ahead, so it may be that actually as I'm filming this, it might have been vile yesterday, but at the point I'm filming, it was really nice yesterday. I mean, actually, I got really sort of um, a little bit burnt yesterday. I mean, not burnt as in hurt or anything like that, but you know, where you're like, oh, I need to get out of the sun now because I've been sat in it for a long, long time. It felt like that. Um, yeah, it was absolutely lovely. And yeah, I don't know what's happened today, but it's definitely not the same vibe going on. It's quite windy and um, it actually looks like it's going to rain in a minute, which is a bit of a shame. I'm much, much colder. I mean, I haven't been outside, but it's much colder feel to it. And um, yeah, I think it is going to be a colder day. Oh, that's quite nice like that. I feel like I want to cover this bit up here with something. Maybe that. Okay, let's just ink that up. Again, I mean, it really doesn't need inking, but we'll just do that anyway. So if I just hold that, I want it about there, I think. Just have that then poking out from there. Okay, and then I'm just going to stick the frame part down. I mean, actually, we could have this as a pocket, so let's just do that. Should have really had it a pocket you know the other side but it only occurred to me after i'd started gluing so it'll be this side now that's okay so we'll just pop that down like that and then i'm just gonna have this here yeah i do like that number 10 i think there label there okay it's really fun when you use like um, a bunch of stuff isn't it that you kind of you know I don't know, had discarded or haven't used, you know, like these papers. I mean, I've had them for like literally years. And um, yeah, it's quite kind of fun when you dig them out and it's, you know, unexpected things happen, don't they? So hopefully we're gonna have some unexpected things happen anyway. Let me just check that there's no other colors that might have been better. Right, so let's just stick that butterfly down. that just there actually I might just ink that that elephant up as well otherwise he was looking quite white wasn't he just in that background so there we go That's a bit better just ink up here along those edges ok 
Okay, yep, I like how he's looking. Do we want to have a couple of buttons or anything? Not those ones, definitely not those. Okay. I've got my little tin, which, I mean, again, it's becoming more buttons in there than anything else, to be honest, these days. But Oh, I've got some words here. No, they're not the right words. They're, um, yeah, not, not looking the right words at all. Oh, what have I got? What have I got? Got that one. It's not bad. Maybe I'm getting too much on there. So, and, um, you know, we can always come back to it. So that's, that's one piece. Right, I just grabbed one of my dry wipes as well whilst I was up because I'd forgotten to pull one in. And whilst I was there, I just pulled in these flowers because I thought, oh, they might be quite nice too. So again, let's take the orange one because, um, you know, let's continue down the orange theme. So let's do just a couple of, um, you know, like more like pocket type pieces here. So just going to chop that down. So we could have like a long one and a, you know, um, wide one, I think. So let's just put them there like that. And again, let me pull in the book, which that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Because I can't really salvage anything from that now. I mean, I have got some nice words there. So I might just do that where I've got the word laugh and beautiful just in case I want to use those so I'll just put those to one side pull this back in and we'll just see you know what shape wise would go well I love this so I'm thinking I might have to have this on an envelope because it's just so cute I don't want to um, you know I don't want to cut into it at all So I've got these, which are really rather sweet, aren't they? And they're cute there as well. This is another one of those that, um, you know, I struggle then to to decide on a better side. Let's do this for a minute. I just want to see, you know, what of these I would fit in. So let me just hold this up so as I can see see through. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, is like fussy tear around these ones. Yeah, I think these are the cuter, the cuter side, so I'm just going to like fussy tear around them. cute I have to say I love elephants I know I've said that before but they're just such gorgeous animals aren't they I really do love them right again I can't really salvage anything from there um except for you know maybe like the word happy so again I might just chop that out just in case I want to um have that anywhere okay so if we have those there, so I might have to obviously tear a little bit extra off and obviously I need to make this smaller. But what I might do is actually have this as a little flippy, you know, foldy piece that would just then fold out from a page, I think. Would be rather nice, wouldn't it? So what I need to do is actually check that this is going to fit on a page. So. Let me see if I've got any A4 paper laying about. Oh gosh. I mean, I've got like, you name it, it's here, but. Let's have a look. Okay, so I need to come down quite a bit. Quite a bit. So, what have I now done with my scissors? They were literally here just that second ago. I must have put them in the drawer. No? Oh, put them beside me now. Okay. Cut that down. Right, let's ink up our bits. Okay, and 
and then these I'm just going to tear down slightly more because obviously they are quite big at the moment so just tear them down in height and then across the, the bottom so that hopefully they're going to fit a bit better on there height wise at least okay so I mean they do pretty much take up the whole thing but that's absolutely fine so let me ink them up a bit because um, it wasn't until the other piece was stuck down really that it looked then glaringly very white so I'll just ink these up a little bit okay and then what I'm going to do is just ink up here now I'm intending this to be like a glue down flap so I'm not going to ink the flap but I will ink the underneath because obviously the intention being it would be glued down and then you know this side would be for journaling so just going to ink that up okay. right so that's that piece and then again I've got some of those lovely fun elements so let's just keep this like in sight so, so that I can you know remember what this looks like <laughs> not that I'm that likely to forget but you know what I mean so as I can remember sort of the size and the shape it looks on the piece so um, it's kind of helpful then to have it like that So I've got that one. Oops. No, don't want one of those. Uh, I have got this bigger number four here. Oh, that's a nice match, isn't it? Colour-wise, this, this colour looks good on there. Okay. I'm just wondering if we could have, like, the number four and that one there. They're quite nice, aren't they? So let's just pop them down before I can change my mind. over there so again let me just sort of hold these in place so that I can see roughly you know where I'd want this one to go so probably about here did I ink that up I don't know whether I did now let's just do it again if I didn't Okay, so that's those. Now, might want something over there. I mean, to be honest, I don't dislike it as it is, actually. I think it looks, you know, really cute. Oh, these are cute, aren't they? Let's just ink this up a little bit. So these are just some little paper flowers. But um, <laughs> I just think they might look really nice on here. Oh, how cute does that look? And then do we want... Well, that might be just a little bit weird, perhaps, now. Can't hear that word from the book, so it says, so happy. So I'll just cut that down. Oops. Oh, it's getting teeny now, so struggling to handle it now. Okay. Oh, come on. What 
open to my flower so my flower and then might just staple that in there I think yeah that looks cute so I'm just going to glue this down there like that and just kind of mop it up with my my wipe a little bit and then actually what did I do with those couple of tag pieces just wondering whether oh that's a bit strange isn't it I was thinking we could have that like a sort of coming out the flower but of course that's you know ginormous to be coming out of there so it's not quite the right size now what I could do is maybe make a tiny one so you know the the load that I said I'm going to take to the school <laughs> let's pull that back in see it's not even not even got out of the house yet let alone to the school so there we go I've torn out one of the little strips and what I'm thinking is I could just do like a teeny tag like that so we just ink that up this might be ginormous still so I might have to take this down way more we'll just see it's quite large isn't it right okay let's just take that down there bit misshapen now but never mind there we go now oh, that's better isn't it and then I'm just thinking could we have this so happy on that tag that's cute isn't it so again let me just ink this little piece up and then I'm just going to staple that on with my Tim Holt tiny stapler which is just in my bag beside me where I've had it downstairs so just going to glue this down onto the tag like that and the other thing that I think I'm going to do and again I've done this recently not my idea it was originally from Nick, Nick the booksmith but I loved how it looked is I think up here I'm just going to put couple of holes like that and then put them in with those hole reinforcers which I thought I actually had some down here I've definitely I mean they're hung on my hook but I thought that I had a packet with literally like three left and I thought oh that'll be something else off of my desk but no nope they probably are here but you know can't see them at the moment so I'll just grab these in okay and again you know I just like to to glue these down I know they are adhesive but I just never really have that much faith in them staying stuck so I do always like to stick them down again or you know um make sure they're extra glued anyway and I just ink them up a little bit so as they're sort of standing out a bit more so we've got our cute flower we've got our sweet tag which we're going to just staple on like that where did I put my okay. <gasps> that looks so cute right now am I going to have any luck with my with my eyelets that could be the next the next thing we're in it I'm gonna have those color I think for this one that sort of bronzy type look 
Right, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, because sometimes I have more luck than others with my crocodile. Okay, let's just pop that there. Just clamp that closed a bit more. Got to just stand up, I think, to actually do it. Okay, right, that's my little piece there. So, how cute is that? And I might just round the corners, to be honest. And then that one. Obviously, I don't need to round that corner where the flower is because the flower's covering it up. But how cute does that look? So we've got those two so far. Right, let's do the last one. So when I say the last one, I mean the last one for today. Obviously not the last one altogether, because we have got that whole pile, but. Right, now, what was I thinking for that one? Obviously we need a longish image. I mean, that one's really cute, to be honest. Oh, but that one's even nicer. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, I'm going to use this one. Oh, it's got like sellotape on it. It's quite fragile. Now, I'm going to have to obviously, you know, I'm not going to fit the whole of him on there. Oh, what bit am I going to lose of him? That's the question. Right, let's just... Well, perhaps we'll actually fussy cut him out. Then we'll be able to see a bit more accurately what you know what needs to go. Okay. Right, there's that piece. Just going to kind of not go to too much trouble around there for a minute because that may be getting cut off, I'm not sure. So we'll just go around here for a minute and then we'll sort of line him up and see, you know, what what needs to come off to get him to fit onto the piece. Right, let's get rid of these bits. I've got lots of um, lots of little bits today. All the cutting. Okay, right. Okay, so yeah, I mean, obviously I could fit him on, but he would be like that. Which, wow, he just looks really strange, doesn't he? So I'm gonna have to have him more like this. So I will probably have to cut his ear off, unfortunately. Or I could have his ear in and his trunk off. I'd probably prefer to cut his ear off, I think, yeah. So as it happens, I am going to fit his tail in. So I'm just going to cut around there. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is ink my piece. Right, now my elephant, really he's not got much white showing, only literally that little piece there. So I mean he doesn't really need inking particularly, but I'll just ink him a little bit. And you know, he's been damaged so he's got some sellotape there, but I mean that's kind of sweet, isn't it? 
So we're gonna have him like that, like lumbering off a little bit to the side. And obviously, you know, want to put some stuff behind him. I don't just want him just, just plain there. So let me just see where my little ephemera extras are because that's what we've been using and they really are going, you know, really nicely with this. So hang on, I think they're beside me. Okie dokie, right, here we go. So yeah, these seem to be going quite nice, you know, with the theme. Now a lot of these have been printed on that photographic, you know, glossy paper, which, although, you know, I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship, sometimes I'm quite liking it, I don't necessarily think it's quite right for these pieces. Right, let's just tear this down. So I'm thinking kind of put that there. So let me just, again, just ink this up a little bit. See what else I'm, I might put down here. So, could have that number seven. What else have I got? Yeah, most of these are unfortunately on that glossy, glossy paper, which is a bit annoying because you know that's not necessarily the look that I was wanting for this. But well, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, well, let's just have this one here. So, again, just ink that up. I mean, again, this is quite dark, so I mean, it's not really necessary to even ink it up because it's, you know, not picking up a great deal. But, right, let's stick that down. Excuse the back. Obviously, that's where I've, you know, when I'm trying to get my printables right, I obviously print them and print them. So, there's often things on the back. But, I mean, once they're obviously down, that, you know, it's not a problem, it doesn't show. Okay, so he's going to be hanging off a bit to the side, isn't he? So let's have that sort of... Oh, have I not got that very straight? It's better. Okay. So let's have that sort of more towards the edge. So... Just have that one like that. And then he's going to go there. Oh, his tail's going to get cut off, look, as well. So it's going to be his tail and his ear is going to be cut off. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. So this little number seven here, I'm just going to ink that up as well. Okie dokie. Now, at the risk of being really boring, I'm kind of thinking, could I have something here and then tie it in a little bow? So, am I like overdoing the eyelets now? But I'm really liking that look. So, I may have to do that. Now, do we want some little bit of book page or, you know, this newspaper print behind him? Because, again, I'm just like loving this, this colour. Let's just have a look. So if he's like that, that there, oops. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that's really cute. So let's just pop this down. Again, you know, I'm just going to try and glue like a lot on here because this newspaper is very old and so it's very brittle and it's just likely to, you know, break in the midpoint and... Um, you know, it won't be there anymore. Well, I don't know whether that would happen, but in my in my mind, that's what would happen. Right, let's glue this cute little elephant down. So 
So like that. We've got the whole of his trunk on. The whole of that ear must be on. So we can glue right around there. And then just a bit of this ear. So might have to kind of touch that up with the glue in a minute when we see, you know, where it needs to be done. So right. See like that? Like that. Oh, he's so cute. He is so cute. Right, so do I need to put any glue there? Just a little tiny smidgen, just like running down the edge. So he's glued on properly. Okay, right. So, I mean, I could leave his ear and his tail. I mean, they look, very, you know, very vulnerable to me, like they're going to get chopped off. So I think I'm probably better off actually getting rid of them so they're not... Not in the danger zone anymore. And again, just with his tail. Okay, oh my gosh, look at his tail now. It just looks like the stumpiest of the tail on the planet, doesn't it? Like he's been injured, poor thing. So I'm going to put that down there. And then what I'm going to do is just bring the... Um, that lovely baker's twine that I was gifted. Oh, I was going to bring the yellow, but I'm now thinking maybe the orange. Yeah, I think maybe the orange. So, and all I'm going to do is like glue this down here. So, we'll just pop that down. Just down there, and then. All I was thinking was we will then take the crocodile oops, and actually what I'm going to do I think is stick my thingamajig leaves on first so hopefully I know that I'm getting it in the right place. So we're going to have one there and then one just above it. Oops. Now I don't know if this is going to work. This might look rubbish. It, you know, it might not work at all. But let's have a go. So I'm just going to do that. Oops, do that. Oh. Okay. And then I'm not going to bother with the metal eyelets for this one because obviously it's just going to be you know, covered up anyway with the twine. So what I'm planning is, and I might just thread it through like twice, maybe. Like I say, this may be an epic fail, who knows. Yeah, I'm thinking kind of go through twice like that. So there's another one. Oops, now I, no, I can't get hold of it. This is fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Again, not the best thing to be doing on camera when you're quite a clumsy person, as well. Right. So then I'm thinking we could just tie that round like that and just do a little bow like that. I mean, obviously, that's huge. You know, we don't want a bow that big, so just tie it down a bit and then could just tie that off so it doesn't you know doesn't come undone so oh come on <laughs> I'm struggling to do this right like that and then just obviously take that down there like that oh that's so cute yeah I like that. It looks sweet. Um, I don't think he probably needs anything else. And to be honest, I've now been filming for a long time. So I'd probably best let you guys go. But, you know, I might just see whether he needs any flowers or something like that. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you've liked the start of working on Woodland Down That Pile. And I hope you'll join me next time and we'll see what else we can achieve. So thank you so much and see you again soon. Look after yourselves. Thanks. Bye.